Hi! Today let's learn about decimals. Let's start. At first, do you know what is the meaning of decimals? No, I don't. Okay. Can you tell me a number less than one? Number zero. What else? Do you know numbers less than one and greater than zero? Do you mean fractions? Very good. Fractions is a way to show parts of one whole. Another way is to use decimals. Now, let's learn the difference between fractions and decimals. Look here. Here we have one square is broken into ten equal parts. And you have just four parts out of ten. If you are gonna to represent this number as a fraction, you will set it four over ten. It's so easy. Let's read this. It will be four tenth. Okay. Now we wanna to show this number as a decimal. It's so easy. You will just write 0 0.4. It means this number less than 1 and greater than 0. As you see, now you have to know that 4 over 10 is the same 0 0.4. And if you are gonna to read it, you will read it as four tenths, the same as the fraction. Let's take another example. Here we go. Here we have one square is broken into ten equal parts. You have just one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six parts out of ten. So, in the fraction, you write 6 over 10. You can read it as 6 tenths. Now, in the decimal form, you will write 0 0.6. As you see, also you can read it as 6 tenths. Now, the next. Can you solve this? It's your turn. Yes, I can. Here we have one square. This square is broken into ten equal parts. We have just nine colored parts out of ten. So, we are gonna to read this fraction as nine over ten. Super! Also, we can read it as nine tenths. On the other hand, the decimal form we will write 0 0.9. Also, we can read it as 9 tenths. Super! Now, let's go to the next. Uh-oh! What is this? Here we have one big square is broken into 100 parts. We need to know how many parts do we have out of 100. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. So, if we are going to write the fraction, it will be 43 over 100. And you can read it as... 4300 On the other hand, the decimals, what should we do? We will write 0 0.43. As you see, it's so easy. You will just copy the numerator. Now, we will read it again as 43 
hundred. The next, here we have again one square broken into one hundred parts. Let's count how many parts do we have? Ten, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. So we will write the fraction as twenty five over one hundred, and you can read it as twenty five hundredths. On the other hand, you will write zero point twenty five, and we will read it as twenty five hundredths. And this was our lesson. Thank you.